Greg Potter, drummer with the Buddy Rich Band. And I'm here today for Modern Drummer Magazine here at Reverb Studios. 2016 will mark the 40th year of Modern Drummer Magazine. Who didn't want to be gracing the pages of Modern Drummer Mag? Hey, look at that. They even put Buddy Rich on the cover. What they're doing to commemorate the 40 years of uh, publication drumming magic, they've done three snare drums with RBH drums, Bruce Hagwood out of Virginia Beach, Virginia, three different snare drums, three different sizes, all custom, each drum. These will be available to you, Reverb.com. This isn't just gonna be some cool thing you see in the magazine or cool thing you see on the internet. We've got a three-ply drum and then two single-ply. Here I've got the single-ply maple snare drum, the most standard of the drums. The other ones get a little special or bigger sizes, smaller sizes, but this is five and a half by 14 maple single-ply. The bearing edges are 45 degrees rounded. Triple flange, 2.3 millimeter hoops, machined, tube lugs, pure sound strainer, comes with Evans drum heads, the 360s, G360s, clear on the bottom, white coated on top. What I'd like to do is hit it a little bit because you know I could go on talking about it forever. Rim shots are just also with the snares off. Sensitivity around the rim. And even for you rockers, if you wanted to take this drum up a little bit more. I don't really want to refer to this as, oh, this is the drum you would use in the jazz setting or the little small trio setting. This is a great all-around snare drum. Okay, now I've got the six and a half by 14. This is a three-ply drum with fully rounded beveled edges around the inside. Again, 2.3 millimeter triple flange hoops, the uh, Trick GS007 strainer, the Pure Sound snares on the bottom, Evans heads all around, but to listen to this drum, this one's going to be a little bit a little bit wide, wider open, as opposed to the the, the tightness of the, the first one we played. From the edges down to the center. Also, taking the snares. Like I was saying, maybe I'm uh, catering more to the, to the rock drumming on this snare drum, but not that you couldn't use it in this situation. Not that you couldn't use it in a situation like that, but I just think it's a really great, round, full-sounding rock snare drum. This here is six by 13, a little smaller, but uh, same deal, the, the, the same hoops, lugs, the cool modern drummer badge on the side, the trick throw off. But sound-wise, we're gonna get a little bit, a little bit more of a controlled pop. Yeah, these strainers are just beautiful. I mean, the sensitivity on it, no matter what level you're playing. And again, let's take the snares off this thing and listen how it sounds with the tom. It's another thing about these strainers, they have three different locks, three simple moves before you get to the tom. Another cool little thing about these strainers. OK, 
Okay, so I've showed you all three snare drums, all separately. And, you know, just to go through them, I mean, you've got uh, three different sizes, five and a half by 14, six and a half by 14, six by 13, one ply, three ply, maple, mahogany, cherry. We've got three different great drums to pick through. Modern drummer, 40th year, commemorative snare drums made by uh, Bruce Hagwood. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play a track, uh, Buddy Rich track, what I'll do is I'll get all the drums set up here and I'll try to hit them all. Thanks for watching and remember you can get these drums exclusively at Reverb.com. Hey, I'm probably gonna get three of them.